Hi everyone, it's your friend with the funny family and I have another funny family story coming up for you right now. Just remember, it's about the story, not the makeup, not a makeup tutorial. Also remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Okay everyone, we are going back in time on this one to the time my mom learned how to water ski. Take a trip up with me to Minnesota. My mom is a teenager right now, and we have some family members who have cabins up in Minnesota, and they're right around this lake area. So um, a couple times a year, uh, the family would get together, and um, they would go up to this cabin, and they would camp and fish and hike. But the most fun thing they did was water ski. Now, both of my grandparents are extremely athletic. My grandmother was a ballet dancer. She has excellent balance. And my grandfather did um, steel work back in the day before they had like tie-ons and had to have extra safety measures. I don't even know if OSHA was like a thing yet. So yeah, he had to have, he had to have good balance. Mm -hmm. Definitely don't wanna be falling off a building in those times, uh-huh. So this year at the cabins, my mom is finally old enough to water ski. So she is going to get her chance this year to show off her stuff. So my mom is pretty athletic herself, but she knows that my grandpa, her dad, does not give you very many chances before he's like, okay, let's move on to the next person. And of course, there is this precedent because both his first time water skiing and my grandmother's, so her mom's first time water skiing, they both got up on the first try because they're so fantastic. They're so athletic. I didn't realize until editing some of my bloopers that I say fantastic a lot, but it is, it's fantastic. So my mom goes to her cousins, Tim and Neil, because their dad, Phil, owned the boat that they always took out on the lake. Like, guys, I really want to impress my dad and I really want a chance to water ski, but I don't know if I'm gonna get up on the first try and I, I don't know if I'm even gonna get a chance. Help me out, guys. Tim and Neil agree and we wanna help. We wanna help this girl out. You know, she's kind of nervous about going out water skiing and we want her to have a good time and have a chance to water ski. And Phil is like, yeah, absolutely. In fact, I know that all of the, you know, most of the parents are going in town to get supplies for the weekend, you know, charcoal, extra gasoline, paper plates, napkins, whatever, all, all the stuff that they're gonna need for their big weekend camp out. Now, town was quite a ways away from the cabins, uh, from what I've been told. Um, it, it's a good trek, so you kind of like go in town, get all your supplies, and then come back to the lake, and then you just kind of hang out there. No sense making more than one trip, you know? So he's like, while all the other adults are gone, including my mom's parents, he's like, we'll take the boat out and we will give you a chance to, you know, kind of go around a few times or, you know, see if you can get up, figure out how the balance to the skis work, you know, because... Yeah, like if it's your first time doing something, you're not gonna be an expert at it. Most people need two or three times at something before they're any good at it. Except for all of us naturally talented people, you know. Mm. So all the parents leave and they take the boat out and she does not get up on the first try. Uh, in fact, it takes her quite a few tries. Of course, Neil and Tim being supportive cousins are giving her pointers actually water skied so I don't know what the coaching looked like but they were you know trying to help her out does this look like water I was going for water eyeshadow so finally after a few tries she gets up and the cheers erupting from the boat are so sincere they're so excited they're like ah you did it go you they're so fantastic and then they put the boat away and they act like nothing ever happened. No, it's not like, oh yeah, we just need a little bit more gas in the boat. I thought you had it. Well, I thought I had more gas than I did. So we need to put a little bit more in there. Sneaky, sneaky. So the next day, my grandpa is kind of taunting my mom like, oh, let's see if you can get up on the, on the first try. It wasn't necessarily like a, 
oh, you're going to get up on the first try because we did. It's kind of like, well, hope you do. Kind of daring her, you know, to be impressive. Why am I trying to talk and do eyeliner at the same time? I thought we've covered this and I just keep doing it, huh? All right, we're going to finish eyeliner and then I'm going to come back. You can't talk and do eyeliner at the same time. -uh. Now, my mom at this point is just trying to hide how sore she is from doing this all the day before. You know, first time water skiing activates some muscles that you might not have used. <laughs> Imagine that. They take the boat out and what do you know, she gets up on the first try. Go you, mom, woo! And my grandpa is so proud. He's like, I knew she'd do it, I knew she'd do it. She got up on the first try. Being a great big cheerleader now that she did, and Neil and Tim and Phil are just like, sure did, look at her getting up on the first try. This is fantastic. And they never say anything, ever. Some people know how to keep a secret, you know what I'm saying? Not only do they never say anything that day or week or weekend, they never say anything ever at all. Nice. Got my blush brush and my blush. So my mom years later is talking to my aunt about this and my aunt asks, well, when did dad actually find out that you didn't get up on the first try? And my mom says he never found out. He went to his grave thinking that his daughter got up on the first try for water skiing. Neil and Tim and Phil just kept those little traps shut. Clang! The kicker to this story is that my mom actually found her cousin Neil on Facebook a few years back. And she asked, is this the Neil from the lake in Minnesota? And he replied, is this the girl that tried to drown herself learning how to water ski that one time? They knew! Like, that was a formative memory for these guys. And they never said anything for all the times that they went to this lake and water skied and barbecued with the family and did all this stuff. They never said anything. And they remembered, absolutely remembered this day in history. They're like, yeah, I remember when she tried to drown herself learning how to water ski, which kind of tells you that it probably took more than one time to get up. I'm guessing a few. Boy, she did it. She did it. I kind of like this. Let's stick with this. Going ice princess, maybe? Let's go with that. My mom really wants to go back up to this lake and reconnect with everyone. And I would love to see where she learned how to water ski. And I am so proud of my family for being able to keep a secret. Boy, you can trust them with secrets, can't you? That's my funny family story for today. Tune in next week for more funny family stories on Pineapple Thursday. Because Friday is too far away.